And now it took me a while actually to be brave enough to show you what I'm going to show you now. But you know what? I thought that it doesn't matter do we have a perfect things. It matters what we can do with the things we have to make them perfect. I hope you would not mind to share your experience with socks, knitting, drawing, washing, maintaining them a bit too, uh, down below. I hope you enjoy this one. Have fun. So I use something like this, this is from Ikea, I think I got it, and what I have over here, I have a water and I have white vinegar, and that's what I use when I just, you know, clean, like, just undusting things. <laughs> I do undusting things, anyway. So here are the drawers that we got, they're from Ikea, most of it is just for storing shoes, but I figure it'd be really cool to have socks, underwear. We have over here a cover for our bed um, and then I have my own ones so uh, what I do I take them out and I dust inside and inside and outside and when they dry so I don't smell any vinegar as you may think that it's so strong it's not really like I do half on half in that bottle ish <laughs> then I'm able to put stuff in it so I'm going to show you how I do that and I'll just show you how I do my socks and to be more precise my hand knitted socks but before we start uh, just to let you know how I wash my socks. So I'm um, having like a bucket. I put some soaps into it uh, I have to restock to be honest, but <laughs> I was looking at, at the Polish shop. This is a Polish product. This is I think one liter. Yes, and It's for silk wool and so on so on. So I use it. It's called Biały Jeleń, which means white deer, I think since 1921 so it is really really nice and I just put a bit into that bucket fill it with a warm water put the socks in and I leave them for approximately 15 to 30 minutes depends I normally set my timer and I take them out and then I dry them so what I like to do I like to hang them and these I got in Ikea this is kind of a dryer I think that's what you call it and I put them this way so there will be easier for me to fold later on and actually they dry so I can pick them up and show you how I fold socks and we're actually in a completely different room but it's such a mess over here that no way I'm showing anything so now here it is folded because you will probably ask me <laughs> what it is this is from Ikea and I was looking for something that in case I won't have a space at home I could put it into my bath bath tub and dry socks over there in the bathroom or well, the bathroom I would say it's not the best room to dry anything but you know sometimes you don't have a choice right so this is it and I'm going to fold it and show you how it looks so here it is you just fold it like an A letter um, support it in the middle you can also put some stuff over here and then on the sides you can use one or both kind of wings I call them so it looks like this. I hope you like this information. So now here are the old socks I have and use. So I'm not sure if that's a lot or if that's not, but I think it's quite a lot to be honest. Uh, so that's why I like now to knit socks and have them for gift, gift knitting, because as you can see, I have a bit. So now you're sometimes asking me also, which of the yarn I like the most in regards to wear and tear. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to maybe show you how I fold the socks and then I'll show you each pair how they look. So you will see um, how much they felt it. And I'm going to use this to kind of rid off bits. All right. Before I completely forget, this is something I keep under the bed and this is like a plastic container with holes and if I decide that my socks are ready to be washed, I put them over here and uh, either I wash them five at a time or I take a bulk and I wash them all together but I'll try to do it my best and if I gather five pairs, I wash them. Um, but that way, they're in the plastic and they can breathe and they're just under my bed over here. I use them maybe two, three times and then I put them in that box. Also, the good trick with washing just five pairs is that you don't have to fold all of your pairs. But because I was thinking it's a good idea, this is what I'm going to do, although I do, do not do that <laughs> every day. I just, that's why I just only wash five every time. So every time I will kind of pay attention to them when they need to be folded. Second of all, I just show you that I dry stuff inside the house. I do dry things outside the house, 
but as you are aware, I live in Ireland and it rains. Do not like to use dryer because it just destroys any clothes. Uh, it's a very heavy in regards to electricity and also all that stuff. If it can dry naturally, I prefer it dries naturally. So even outside of the house, we have um, strings that we can uh, put clothes on. But I know that everyone ability to do that. <laughs> but it's very common in Poland, for instance, that we dry like that, that normally the flats do not have dryers, clothes dryers. So basically this is how the folded socks look like. This is a pair that I knitted, if I find it, on the screen now. And the yarn is very special to me um, because it was dyed by a viewer, a friend, Suzanne, and I knitted my love song. Um, pattern over here so it looks like this and as you can see I don't know what the yarn is but it holds uh, pretty well um, I think this I use drops so maybe I will I have time so I will just nicely prepare it for winter So how do you fold it? <clears throat> I just put it flat with a heel up and another one with a heel up <laughs> and I just fold this one like this, that's it, and then cuff and I'm putting it inside here. Some of you may not wonder that all oh, your, your ribbing will stretch but to be honest not really. <laughs> Most of the times my ribbing is not that tight, but anyway, um, you don't have to do it. I'm just showing you how I do it. Another pair. Check my playlist socks if you're interested down below. I'll link. I will link stuff. How to knit socks. I will link stuff too. Hopefully, I won't forget. And to be honest, it's pretty good. When I'm editing it, I will probably know now what the yarn is. And you see, if I dry them like that, I can just put them and treat it very quickly. And I do use though these socks, so I'm not, not sure. Now, this is a, I don't think I have a photo for it, but definitely it is on my playlist socks. I knitted it with a yarn from Hong Kong and we have over here Merino and then the other one is Thin Cotton and I was, I had two different balls so it's not one yarn that it stripes like that. I was just basically striping myself. I thought it will not last because, you know, we have 100% Merino over here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure which one is which one, but probably if you check the video, I'm telling you. And as you could see, and I wear them, and as you can see, they're not that bad. And now I'm going to show you behind the scenes. So basically, I, <laughs> I have a box over here and I'm stretching at the same time as I'm folding. So it's two in one. <laughs> you can say it's a waste of time. And uh, I think the red one is merino and the blue one is cotton because you could see how it acts. It's, you know, it's, it acts like cotton over here. This more like merino. <laughs> so I was, I was more afraid that, you know, I'll knit them and that'll be it, but they are actually survived. And some other socks you'll see, they're not as great. So. And that was during the time that I did not really know about what you call it, um, you know, 75, 25, and so on, so on. I may not have you socks, I think, that time, or yarn for that. Um, so yeah, and that's why I've decided to mix balls and just did this, it's really cool. I did not know how to do a helix method, so you could see it's not, it's not lining up properly, but I'll put down below on the link how to do it to make it um, fine. Although over here you could see I used, I did two rows, um, so I've never tried helix for two rows or sometimes three over here so they're slightly off but I was paying attention to make sure that I have them on one side on another so if I wear them I have them in sight so I'm very happy with these um, KPC yarns pretty 
Okie dokie, next one. I wear them and then they're fluffed a bit, but they're not that bad. And sometimes I do put a socks into the washing machine, so I know, you know, they wear in terribly good. So I'm getting a bit of this on the sides. So I'm going to do it all the way around <laughs> with, uh, with the heel sticking up. Okay, so you can see over here I have socks. And this is holds pretty well. <clears throat> I think this, this were, these were uh, leftovers uh, from my friend. And to be honest, I did not know the blend or anything like that. And I use them for heels. I noticed after first or second wearing that they were doing something like this. So I knew it's not for socks. And I used it to um, knit a hat. But as you can see, once you use this thing, they look like new, so it's not that bad. I haven't used it before, I mean, this machine, so you could see, have seen this, um, and I wore them maybe a few times, few times. Off you go. And as you can see, this the iron is holding very well. And these socks, I haven't knitted them, they were cranked on the sock machine. I don't have it, but I received it from Laura, so thank you so much. Another old pair! Look at those! I haven't treated these with this, so I'm taking this opportunity. And when I knitted them, that was ages ago, and you could see it's pretty cool. I think I got this yarn from... I think I got this yarn from um, Sue. I'm not sure, but I was actually cutting pieces because I didn't, I wasn't a fan of those small stripes. <laughs> so every time I cut the piece, so it took me a while to knit them. As you could see, the, these kind of things, um, because I just wanted to make a stripey socks. I know, I know. So yeah, they they're fine here. The holes, um, the heels, toes, and um, and ribbing. It's from. Drops fable and it kind of holds very well. It it felt because it's a wool. Once it does this, it's kind of it doesn't even pill or anything like that. Oh, do you remember these? Ah, oh, fine and dandy socks. This is actually pattern. I think maybe it's even one of my first pattern socks. It was so cool to knit. Um, some people were using a hooks to create those bits, so slow things down. But I know I found an, um, a trick to do that without that thing. So this is all drops fable, and I would say it holds pretty well. You know, only over here you could see some kind of felted, not even felted, they probably, I should have cleaned it earlier. Um, heels, not bad. You could still see stitch definition. And as you could see my heels over here, they're tiny. I don't know what actually I was using. Oh, that's fish lips kiss heel. Um, because I was doing that for a while, but I found it very shallow. So I switched to afterthought heel. Next. Oh, these. These are... Oh, that, oh yeah, I remember. So uh, these socks are knitted with the yarn that I received from Diana. And I got 250 gram balls and I wanted to split them. And what happened was that they did not knit up the same way. So I thought I will use another 50 grams and I knit another pair and will match the socks the way they knit up. So basically I have four socks and I was matching them to create pairs and each were different, maybe there was one close. Then I thought to give one away and I think I did a giveaway, but the person did not got in touch with me. So I presume I have that pair in my box, my giveaway box still, um, or gift box. Uh, so yeah, so that's that. And they're not that bad. 
the heels i think heels are drops fable so yeah it's not that bad okay i just knitted this pair so i'm not going to unfold it but as you can see i had it in my drawer and it was like this and it stays like this and this is knitting i love colorway and done by crafty corn a dyer from canada and he does a brilliant job don't you think i love it so much it's so beautiful i have leftovers i have leftovers i do and they look pretty decent i don't remember when i knit them to be honest uh, but there i really like the stripe effect over here you may see it's like unicolor and then we have that kind of beige with the color over here so creates like columns pretty cool and a yarn over here even though you see whatever i use for the toes looks quite decent i really like that mm, yep. now these this is my design i call it trip for two and i knit them in drops Fable, all of them and as you can see they're whole but I said I knitted it lately so they're still this year and I was wearing them a few times already and I really like that drops has that sensation of a wool but I'm, I'm fine with that so I really really like this do you remember this pair yeah that's pretty decent too they're just few fluffs but as I said I haven't done this before I'm just taking this opportunity to push myself so if you're watching and you're at home and you have a few minutes maybe grab five pairs and just do five don't do all of it at the same time uh, but if you're at work you may have something to plan for I think it's really cool so they're kind of I haven't removed them before and you see once that creates then it's kind of sticks that's a wool so I can remove it with this These are my favorite. This is um, yarn and a pattern by Kay Jones from Bakery Bears. They're so delicate, like I'm just afraid to use them. <laughs> I wore them twice, but as you could see, they're hold still pretty well. It's just the softness of it. I'm just thinking that they're going to break, <laughs> but somehow they're holding it nicely. So you could see, um, I don't have any fluffs or anything like that over here going on. But like I said, they're, oh, it's like, it feels like pure merino uh, when you touch it. And they're all, these, this pair is lighter than all of the, the pairs I have on here <laughs> somehow. Nothing to actually do over here, but you know, well, let's just a quick glimpse and that'll be it. Cute. This is a pair, you see it? This is a pair that I knitted myself from uh, leftovers. That I knitted the same pair of socks, exactly looking the same, to my friend Diane uh, during the Christmas kind of calendar swap. So we decided not to um, exchange with the skeins or anything like that, just to knit our uh, self socks. And I knitted a pair for her and it was just so quick and I just fell in love with it and I had leftovers so I said well I'm going to knit exactly the same pair for myself. And they're holding pretty cool. The blend on them, them is quite interesting because we have alpaca over here as I remember. I might be wrong but anyway check the video about these. It's it's yeah so nice. I'm getting slightly bits on the sides over here. Try to try to bend them on the edge. <laughs> Lovely. Cute. I'm not untangling these. There I also knitted them um, a while ago. This has a really nice uh, twist. These are leftovers from Diane and this is a really good yarn I would say. So any high twist yarn that you could see that they are shiny from it, um, that's pretty, I think will hold pretty well. Although I knitted this year, I haven't wear, worn it so, so much. I think I wore them a few times, like three times and I washed them and I put them like this. So, you know, I can't say much about it, but it looks pretty good. Next, ooh, 
Ooh, that's a knit grade yarn. I got it in my first ever sparkly and I wasn't sure what to do. Should I knit a hat? Should I knit socks? And I end up knitting socks. And there, I'm not sure, can you see them? But they're like, oh, like a snow. See it? And I was just playing with some random uh, panel over here. So it's not a pattern written down or anything like that. I was just, whatever I was thinking, I was just changing it and moving it forward. So, and they're shorties. And now, if you are not a knitter and somehow you end up over here, take care of your woolen items, maybe you got a gift from someone. It takes approximately from 8 to 15 hours to knit a pair of socks for a knitter. So if you take care of it nicely, it's be really, really appreciated, just saying. And second of all, if you don't know what that um, effect does, I told you we have wool and nylon most of the time, and this, to get this kind of nice effect, we need Stellina in the fabric. So there are different blends. I'm not sure will it hold. I'll go all the way around. Let's Where's my shorties? Okay, that way I will know when they're sticking out their short ones. Quite a good idea. Yay! Do you remember these? Okay, that's my first ever blanket I got. So normally you get yarn from a skein, a skein or in the Hulk or whatever, you could see it. But sometimes you get a knitted fabric which is dyed by a um, in the dyer and you can unravel the, the stitches and knit socks and I got a blanket like this and I knitted a hat and a socks with it um, so yes um, they the only thing about these they bleed still <laughs> they're not that bad I'm putting them with others and yeah that was so much fun and eventually after I think second wash they're stretched nicely because you will notice when you knit with from the blanket that they're wonky the stitches are so wonky yay oh then we have these and these socks oh help me please christmas i need to check uh, i know i received this yarn as a gift with this i want to say from sarah I want to say from Sarah and I think she got me a second ball so I know probably in November I'll be casting it on on the pretty I wore them as you could see they're bits they're so pretty so pretty I can't wait to wear them so as you can see that's maybe a second I think this is also a Christmas theme so I think so far there are two Christmas themed socks I have. I know I knitted one but I gave it to my mom because it was felted. Oh now we have another leftover socks. These leftovers I got from Diane and I used my minis these from Green Elephant Yarns in Ireland and as you can see they're holding quite good. They're so light so light and so pretty. Oh so pretty i know in the video so definitely go check my playlist socks i tell you who who is behind dyeing this yarn oh let's move to another one this is commercial yarn and i got it from the d stash from k and it holds pretty cool i'm not i don't remember the name so again i would say check my playlist whoop so this yarn holds pretty well and I love the design, I love the stripes, it was a pleasure to knit and I know someone got the during woolen, I know I brought some leftovers and uh, some people took them so I can't wait, maybe they'll tag me, please tag me. So cute. Okie dokie, next one. Oh, they're also leftovers and they're not the same. <laughs> So as you can see, I was knitting until I run out of yarn. And if you know how I knit socks, I like to knit from toes and I'm just knitting a tube. I did split them to two, I thought, the two equal um, balls, but it looks uh, not really. That's a big, big difference, to be honest, over here. So something went wrong. I'm not sure what, but I'm happy. I just slide it down and they're for me. They're, they're one of the kinds, as you have probably noticed. Um, so I knit them this year, so they're not that bad. I wore them already and... What else? They're cute. Yeah. Ooh, 
let's take this. So this is a knit crate yarn and I presume it was a yarn for socks. They're kind of fluffed in a nice way, as you could see. Um, nothing happens, I knit them. But we have something going on over here a little bit. Um, knit crate have a different blends for socks and stuff like that. So I can't remember how what blend was over here. Um, but yeah, and these are my prototype, the first socks that I knitted. I showed you already. This is the trip for two pattern. I was playing with changing the position of them um, of the panels. Sounds like my battery is dying. Yeah, my battery is dying, but look, I emptied it before we were cleaning, and this is what I have. So I'll see. Whoa, and I throw this thing away. Eek! Don't do this. Okay, the battery wasn't dying. Basically, this thing was blocking over there and was going um, slow. It's kind of stronger. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll manage to do them all. So you can see, check this out. And I knit them this year and I wore them maybe a few times. I washed them twice, so I, as I said, I wore twice, three times socks and then I washed them. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, but they were a butter, a butter to knit. So that's why I'm always afraid that they will piddle. So cute! At least even if you don't want to fold them like this, you can fold them for like gifts and presents. Put this um some kind of ribbon around it and it'll be so cute! And maybe stock a um, piece of paper with information how to wash them and what the content is. Okie dokie. Oh, oh, oh my. Every time I take socks, it's just it's just kind of spark in my heart. I don't know. Have you have the same thing? They're not so bad because uh, Kay has the still collection, I think, of a few patterns. And to be honest, I got a full collection and I just knitted one thing so far. And I think there's like seven patterns overall. And oh, I have to check it out. She has other socks and stuff over there. So video, I'm telling you about the toes, what I was trying to do because one went different way than another. And that's because I was trying to do two different things. I think there's three sizes for toes um, because there's, I think, three sizes overall for the um, pattern. So, and that's that. And I love now knitting with a uh, holding fingering double because it's quite fun. And I think it's really cool for even gifts too. And I think you can use them as without even slippers around the house and oh, love them so much. And I, not saying I use for this, but I lately recorded a finished object video, hopefully you've seen it, that I knitted a stripey sock. So for instance, with this, I used the Helix method. Down below you have a link how I do it. And the same thing, I've decided to use my leftovers and just start knitting DK <laughs> socks. Next, oh, this is my sample pattern uh, for the Love Song socks. And this is, yeah, drops fable. And as you could see, I haven't done anything with it, so you could see that it kind of felt it a bit. We're going to clean it and it's going to be a fine. So let's do this. If it's something like this, I may pull it slightly and then I'm just pushing this machine towards it. Um, So here it is, this is a pattern. It's just basically something mindless that you just add something, something. <laughs> and because it's so simple, it's it's very, it's, it's, it's a cheap pattern. <laughs> I think I'm going to replace the empty this. Okay. <laughs> and you can notice that I was using different toes over here just for fun. Okie dokie. Now, this is a pattern, as you can see over here, Mina, Knitting Expect, but it's very soft, so it pills, but 
um, but I think while I treat it with this will be fine. Um, and as you can notice, I like more stocking it stitch than the pattern socks. And this is basically a first time that I noticed that if you have a busy yarn, it's not really worth it to take it for a pattern socks. <laughs> but how pretty it looks over here. Did you see? It's way better this than this, I would say. Next, this is Cirder, as I recall. I'm not sure it looks like a, a shorty. Do I have a leftover? Do I knit a socks and I give that to someone? I don't have a clue. But it's pretty cool, to be honest. Holds very well. I knitted ages ago. Well, you see those bits, but like I said, I haven't treated with this before. But my plan is now to put it into the box and keep it next to my socks. So next time I will be just... If I see something, I grab it straight away. So now, so this is how it looks, and it's pretty de decent. I hope you can see it, and I'll just show you how it looks afterwards. You see it? Woohoo! So nice, so nice. And it, once this is treated, it looks like almost like new, isn't it? And I'm telling you, I was lazy. I didn't do it before, and. That's why they're kind of stocked, but it's easier to get them out. So this is good. This is Cirder, it's quite good. I think it's a Cirder. Anyway, double check because I could be completely wrong, but it's good, it's good commercial. And I think the heels are Drops Fable, and as you can see, they're really cool. I knit these socks ages ago, so I wore them more than anything else because, you know, if you have just three pair of socks that you hand knitted, you know, you will use them more often. <laughs> Um, so yeah, happy with the uh, results now. So now when I knit shorties for myself, I try to have over here 40 um, rounds. Although I presume 25 would be okay. How many I have here? I have 20 over here, so that's that's okay. But for folding perspective, ooh, another one, free pattern on Raverly. I designed these and I know they're shorties, but you can go uh, about it more. It's kind of a little wave, but it's hard to see. And these, I don't know what I used. I don't remember. But they're holding pretty cool. You see, I don't have to do anything with them, to be honest. Eek. And another pattern. And this is... Who knows? Who knows? Mercury socks? I think so. And this is Drops Fable. So this is kind of the way drops have a long print. So they have a kind of green stripes idea. I can't complain. Okay, okay. So nice. And last but not least, although I have another pair, you know, in the box that they're green, so we're missing one. It's Albert. And this is uh, the yarn. This, these are the socks that um, they're gift knit, and I did not knit them. My friend Diane knit them for me, and it's very delicate yarn, <laughs> so delicate. And as you could see, and I try to treat them as bad as I can, Diane, don't look. Look at this, kind of flops. But do not worry, with this we will sort it out. So as you can see, they look way better now. But they're very soft. Again, as I said to you with a few of my socks over there, when you touch them, you know they're kind of fluffy. They're like merino. Basically, put them in the bucket and do not put them to washing machine because I know they're double special for me, like triple special, quadruple special. But check this out. Oh. Now compare before and after cleaning. Yeah. Yay! So pretty. So pretty. And so soft. Like this should be a hat, not a sock. So just to let you know, there's another pair over here. So overall, how many pairs do I have? You could see I have one, two, three, four, five shorties. And then counting this one, we have one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I have 24 and this is my 25th, but that's the only DK one. Well, you know, hold double. So I hope you enjoy, uh, so I hope you enjoy this one. 
So here are the socks that I own and let me know how many socks do you have? How do you take care of them? Do you fold them? How do you put them? Where do you put them? How do you wash them? What do you use to wash them? And how do you kind of trim those kind of fluffy bits uh, with what? Or you haven't even thought about it. So let me know all down below. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next one. Bye. Not bye. We have to put them into the box. This fits beautifully over here, so I can fit one, two, three, four columns and this machine. And they're all here. Mm -hmm.